Hi everybody, day one of a three day ready reserve block. What, ready reserve? But Elizabeth, you just told us on your last video you're not on reserve anymore. Well, we got off reserve first. That's true. Let me explain. So it's true, I don't have to bid for a reserve anymore, but I did pick up this three day ready reserve block for extra hours and for cash. That's right, the person I took it from gave me money. They sent it to me via PayPal, so that's awesome. So also, I did pick this up for cash, but I kind of failed to remember that two out of my three kids are actually home today because it's parent-teacher conferences. So here's really crossing my fingers that I don't get called into work. So why is reserve so important? If you're thinking about becoming a flight attendant, you need to understand that reserve is gonna be your life for about five to 25 years. I mentioned that in my last video. So this topic affects all flight attendants in every carrier. Now every carrier works their reserve system differently. We have four types of reserve. Ready reserve, AM reserve, PM reserve, and vacation reserve, which we call VR. The whole purpose behind reserve is to fix the operation for flight attendants calling in sick, flights being delayed or canceled, bad weather, cancellations, all those kinds of things is why airlines have reserve. Okay, so for my carrier, 65% of the flight attendants sit reserve to fix the operation. The top 35% are line holders, do not have to bid for reserve again. So I'm currently top 35%, but like I said, I picked this block up for cash. So. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm home today. I'm gonna to be doing mommy duties. I'm currently on the list number 31. So at 5 p.m. the day before you reserve, they bring out a list that shows where you are. The beginning of the month, everyone starts at zero RDV, relative daily value. That's complicated, I'm not gonna to try to explain it. And since I am pretty senior when it comes to reserve, I'm at the bottom of the list. I started out as number 51 out of 61 ready reserve flight attendants. As of this morning, I am number 31. I'm on call until the last flight leaves tonight or about two hours before. So we're just gonna get ready. I'll periodically check in, see where I am on the list and teach you about reserve. All right, so it's noon here and Hannah's having lunch. Hi. <laughs> oh, by the, by the way, um, today our power went out in the middle of the night. Yeah, so we had we had a power outage at 3 a.m. And Hannah sleeps with the fan, and Clint and I sleep with the fan, so it totally woke us up. Okay, so it's noon, making lunches. Yes, my kids are still in their pajamas. Um, we're gonna get dressed and go to the park, right? So I'm now number 18 on the list. I went from 52 last night up to number 18, and they have now assigned all the airport standby. So this is what airport standby is about. So airport standby is when you have to go to the airport and sit for five hours. So our airport standby is five hours. I think American Airlines is six, a lot of airlines is six hours because I'm gonna be paid for six hours today whether I work or not. So now they have assigned airport standby for the rest of the night all the way to 11.25 p.m which is the last departure from Denver. So we have to be within two hours of the base. So that means that I can go to the grocery store, take the kids to the park. The company has to give me two hours to get to the airport from when they call. We're at park number two. Michaela decided she wanted to park hop, so I'm trying not to obsessively check the list. It is almost two o'clock and I'm still number 18. And we're just outside. It's chilly, it's in the 40s and it's a little bit windy. Hannah found some people back there to play with. Yeah, just trying to enjoy the fact that spring actually might show up. It makes me happy. What time is it? It's four o'clock. I'm still number 18 on the list. Crossing my fingers, I don't have to go anywhere. We went to two different parks. Michaela was calling it park hopping, and I thought that was funny. 
for those non-Disney people, that's when you jump from Disney Park to Disney Park. Ready, reserve, rules. So they have to call you two hours prior to get to the airport. You have to be within two hours of your base. People have been fired for this. People being shady, people living further than two hours away from their base, seeing that, oh, I'm number 50, I'm number 18, I'm not gonna be within two hours of my base. And people have gotten fired for that, so don't be shady. In our contract, you only have to sit airport standby five times during the month. So if you are on ready reserve a lot in your beginning of your flight attendant career, after the company has assigned you airport standby five times, if they call you for the sixth time, you can refuse it. That's something nice, that is in our contract. Also for ready reserve, all of our blocks, again, pay 18 hours or trips for pay. So even if I don't fly today, I will get six hours for today. Now, if I actually got a trip, let's say I got a turn, that's when you go out and back in the same day, that paid more than six, then I will make more than six. It'll go against my guarantee. I'm guaranteed to make 18 hours for this three days. So I'll check back in, doing the dishes right now, all the mom stuff, and I will let you know where I'm on the list. Still number 18. Okay, so it's 8.13 and I'm still number 18. I don't think I'm gonna get called today. The list for tomorrow, I am number 29. And so we decided to start a fire. We got one of those like Duraflame kind of smokeless fires and this is its maiden voyage and Clint and I got in the hot tub. <laughs> I got to stay home. I know, I love it. And your daughter wants to be picked up. Aha! She'll go have to go pick up herself. <laughs> Cause we're in the hot tub. Yes we are. Yep, go walk in. All right, <laughs> day two tomorrow, we'll see what happens and I will explain AM reserve. Welcome to day two. We're on ready reserve, trying to stay home all three days. We'll see how it goes. And right now, currently at 10 AM, I am good for up to number 21. So, so far so good. And yesterday they started offering SDRT, Standard Daily Release Time. So what that is for my company is if they look and see, okay, we have this many people sitting on reserves, we have this many trips, we have too many people. And they let you give up your three day reserve block and they say, hey, we'll take it off your board. We won't pay you, but you'll be free. A lot of people do that. I have done that when I didn't feel like working, but wasn't able to get rid of my trip or my reserve. So they offered that last night. It doesn't look like a ton of people took it. We have a lot of new people and they need to work. So let's move on to AM reserve and what that covers. All right, so let's talk about AM reserve, which is the second most senior type of reserve. Remember, we have four. So we've been covering ready reserve, which is what I have been sitting and am sitting until tomorrow. The nice thing about AM reserve is there is a set time that they can call you. Ready reserve, you're kind of on call 24 seven, but we don't fly a 24 seven operation. So you're not really on call all night. For AM reserve, the company can contact you between 3 a.m and 11 a.m. After 11 a.m., if you have not been contacted, then you are done for the day, and then you will be good for the next day. Now, AM Reserve does not sit airport standby. That is only covered by Ready Reserves. So that's what's really nice about AM Reserve is it is a set period of time. AM Reserve is really nice because it's a set hours. Again, if the company hasn't called you by 11, you're free and clear for the rest of the day to do what you want. So that's AM Reserve. All right, so it's one o'clock here. Just finished lunch, gave Hannah a bath. Again, doing all the mom things while I'm sitting here on reserve. And I'm bidding currently. I'm still number 21. Today's the 3rd of March. So bids at my company, primary bidding, which is the original schedule, those are open from the 2nd to the 5th. I have vacation in March and I have vacation in April. So that means I have to bid and I have to be given a line for primary bidding. I just wanted to wrap up AM for you. The trips, if you are assigned an AM reserve trip, your trip has to get home by 6 p.m. That is just the way the AM lines are built. They have to be back into base by 6 p.m. Even though you're on AM, they can assign you a trip outside that 11 o'clock hour. So they have to call you by 11 a.m., but the trip can report later in the day but it has to be home on the day you get home by 6 p.m. So 
p.m. reserve, they are on call between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. And when I had to be on reserve and if I couldn't hold or if I wasn't able to get a VR line, p.m. reserve is usually what I wanted. If I was gonna have to work, I didn't really always wanna try to play this game with Ready Reserve. It honestly hadn't always worked. I wasn't senior enough to fly under the radar. Again, now that I have nine years of seniority, top 35%, and they are just flooding our base with brand new baby flight attendants, it's working. So I might be doing this a lot during the summer. Today's the third, I have a day off, which we are actually going to Disneyland. But then I have another block of ready reserve that starts the sixth. So we'll see. I don't know. Ah, so far it's going good, but I, I don't know. In my nine year career, again, I had some breaks for baby for when I had Hannah and when I had cancer. I usually always get called in. I don't want to jinx myself, but it's going good, number 21. I'm not really nervous. A lot of times I like to go through, I always take screenshots of the list and then throughout the day I'll go and look at other people's schedules to see what they were assigned, the people who are no longer on the list, to see when they have assigned airport standby to the end of the night. So I might go do some stalking <laughs> and see where they are as far as assigning airport standby. So here we are. Day two, going good, working on my bid. AM reserve, contact between 3 a.m. and 11. PM reserve, contact between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. So then if they have not called you by 6 p.m., you're off, you can have a drink. <laughs> I was just bidding and I had a thought and you guys are probably wondering, Elizabeth, why would you pick up reserve? And I'll tell you. This time I did it for cash, I said that up front. But sometimes, for example, right now, since I'm bidding a vacation month kind of situation, so when we bid, there's something called a clean line, and that's when every single trip is on the same day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all four, all five trips on your schedule are all Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There are lines that are called rotating lines, so their trips are kind of all over. One could be Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The next week it could be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Right now, the most important thing for me when I'm bidding is to have the most amount of trips pulled off my board and have the least left on my board. A, that's because my husband and I have vacation plans in April. And B, that allows me to go back and add the trips that I want. So let's say for example, I have a trip on my board during the week and with the kids still in school, that's not the best option. So if I bid for that line, what I can do is then trade that trip for a reserve block because people on reserve are always wanting to trade their reserve blocks. Well, not always, but a lot of times they're wanting to trade their reserve blocks for trips. So sometimes I'll bid a trip or a, a schedule where I don't really like a specific trip or when it is, but I know that I can go back and trade that for a reserve block on the days that work best for me and my family. I hope that helps. I'm still number 21. It is four something, not exactly sure. I'm over winter. Yesterday I was pulling back the plants downstairs. My tulips will be coming up soon. And I did see my tulip, the tops of my tulips, but yeah. Spring in the Rockies, still sit in reserve. You do have cute eyes. They're beautiful. What are we doing, Hannah? Play dolls. Play dolls. Mom. Yeah? I have to live in here, you have to live in there. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to day three. It's Saturday, it's almost 10.30. Came down to brew some coffee. Really need to hop in the shower. But day three, and I have checked the reserve list a couple times and I am sitting at number 26. I was at 29, I am at 26 right now. Honestly, I think unless they burn through the list of those of us that are good for one day, that means we have to go out and back. I'm pretty safe. Now I need to look up the last round trip flight when that leaves Denver. And because it's Saturday, that's gonna be pretty early. So I need to look that up. That will be technically when I can be released. And I did mention yesterday, I think that we were planning or thinking about going to Disneyland, but we forgot that it was my niece's birthday party. I forgot to mention that it's my niece's birthday and 
my husband forgot to tell me. We're doing that instead. I need to go do something with myself, go wash this mop top and get ready for the day. And I don't think I'm gonna get used. This is a rare thing. I have rarely gotten to sit at home for three days. So yay, that worked. Now again, I'm getting paid. I'm at home and I am fixing the operation. If they needed me, I am available. So let me go get ready and I'm gonna come back and explain vacation reserve. And also I mentioned SDRT the other day, they were offering SDRT, it's secondary daily release time. That again is when they have too many of us and they offer, hey, we'll pull your shift, we're not gonna pay you, but you're free. So I'm gonna go get ready. Doing a face mask after the shower, I'm still number 26. All right, so it is almost three o'clock and I'm still number 26. I am continuing to work on my bid. <laughs> so I have to bid in primary bidding because I have vacation again in April. I have 145 lines or schedules picked and I need to probably get at least 300 picked. That leads us into what VR reserve is. VR reserve is vacation reserve and that is when they take all the trips off of people who was on vacation board. So my board in March and then this board for April schedule, they pull all those off. Everyone who has vacation has to bid in primary bidding and then they take all of those trips, they reconfigure them into new schedules and then those schedules are bid on as part of reserve. The most senior reserve you can get is VR, which is you just have a schedule, you just have a line and that's what I could hold before I went top 35%. So that was awesome. And even now, if I cannot find something that I like, I can bid down to reserve. That means I can dream bid or put everything in there that I want. And then if there's no other trips I really want, I can bid down to reserve. So I put a little R on my bid and then that means if I don't get anything above the R, then I will bid during reserve bidding. So today, I should be off reserve about 7.30. The last turn where you go out and come back in the same day leaves Denver at 9.30, I think. But they have to call me two hours before that turn leaves. And so two hours before that turn leaves is technically when I can kind of say that I'm done with this three-day block. Now, I'm really blessed that I got to sit home for three days. It's a gamble. It's always a gamble when you do this, even for someone as senior as me. It's also the overlap part of the month is overtime. So all the trips that people have picked up from the company are paying time and a half. So people are less likely to call in sick during these first couple days. So I do have another ready reserve block that starts on the 6th and today's the 4th. So we're gonna see A, if I'm gonna keep that or if I'm gonna give it back to the company if they have too many of us or B, what's gonna happen on that one? What's gonna happen? I'll keep checking in at the end of the day, but that's what's happening. My family went to Trampoline Park for my niece's birthday and my husband graciously let me stay home. Wasn't feeling it. So I am done with Ready Reserve. I do wanna mention that I didn't pack, I didn't get my food ready, none of that. Now, if I had gotten to like number 10 and I thought, okay, there's a possibility I could get called in for airport standby or for a trip, I would have packed and gotten food together. Now, when you get called in for airport standby, you wanna pack like you're leaving on a trip for as long as you're good for. On day one, that's three days. On day two, that's two days. And on your last day, that's a turn. You wanna be prepared in case they send you out on a trip. I hope I explained reserve. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Thank you for hanging out with me on Ready Reserve. And we'll see if I vlog my next block, if I keep my next block. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, but ask me any questions. I love to answer your questions. Hit subscribe, hit like, and I will see you guys in the sky.